And hello, welcome back to All or Not According to Jack with your host, Jack Taldano. So uh, in putting out my video of uh, the Mets and then afterwards talking about uh, Sea of Tranquility or SOT Fest, uh, I forgot to do something very important. I was going to do a little mini slideshow um, of uh, some of the picks from uh, when I went to the game Monday night and basically celebrated my 48th anniversary of having gone to my very first Met game. So what I'm going to do in this episode, and this will be a short and quick one, uh, it's going to be one of my part of my on location series, but it's also going to be a uh, little mini slideshow from some pictures that I've taken either Monday night or that I took uh, earlier this season going to see the Mets. So let's go right to it and let's share. Oops, uh, share screen. There we go. So first pick is uh, me standing on the ledge there trying to get both uh, uh, the, the Mets home run, the old Mets home run apple, which was uh, introduced in 1980. And it was retired when they built City Field in, I think it was what, 2008, 2009? 2009, I think it was, was the first season. And uh, just this season, if you look over to the right, you could see a statue. You can't see it very well. Uh, it's, uh, uh, they finally decided to pay homage to Tom Seaver. But instead, you'll see it in the next slide. So let's go there. Come on. Ah, there we go. And I give my daughter Sam credit for this. She took a great uh, picture. Unfortunately, in order to get the whole stadium uh, and Tom Seaver in one shot, you have to do kind of one of those panoramic, or, you know, one of those panel shots. And I took one, but... Uh, of course, I forgot his little nameplate at the bottom of the statue, which Sam didn't forget. So thank you for that, Sam. Great picture. You know, it's about time they, they honored one of their own. Uh, I mean, really honored one of their own. I mean, you go to Pittsburgh, they could, supposedly they got statues all, all over the outside of the stadium. You know, it was a high time we had one. So we got it. Mr. Tom, terrific. Okay, next slide. That's the three of us. Three of us sitting in front of Tom, terrific. My daughter, Sam, me in the middle, and George, Sam's boyfriend, George. Yankee fan that he is, but he didn't wear any of his Yankee gear that day. Good decision, George. Uh, what I like is the accuracy of this uh, statue. Uh, Tom, I don't know, some of you don't re remember Mets lore, but Tom, he would drag his foot on pretty much every pitch. Uh, that is a typical pose of how he would pitch, but hey, got over 300 wins and three Cy Youngs. He was doing something right. Okay, next picture. And this is uh, Jason uh, met up with us at the stadium. Four of us in the crowd enjoying the game. I love this picture. It's so great. And, and a great time was had by all as we beat the, the little red machine five to one. This is Monday night. This is a picture that I took, I think, back in mid-June, I think it was. Uh, this was the uh, first game they played against the Miami Marlins this season. And... Uh, I sat in uh, the middle section, which they call the Caesar uh, section. Nice, uh, nice seats. And uh, I was able to get this nice panoramic. Okay, let's go to the next one. That's me uh, trying to um, sing along with uh, Peter, uh, Polar Bear Pete Alonzo's uh, walk-up song, which is... Uh, uh, Working Man by Rush, which is pretty freaking cool. This is another panoramic. Uh, this time I was sitting out in right field. Uh, 
you see uh, Davis uh, splashed all over uh, all over the outfield. He's no longer a Met. They traded him away. wasn't a wasn't really that great of a player. But uh, if you look at some of the uh, bands with their jerseys, look at that. You got a Seaver and a Degrom uh, uh, right bottom there. A um, couple of Cy Young pictures for the Mets. I, I know Seaver had three. I think the Grom had two. Definitely one, but possibly two. So I think that's all with my city field pictures. I do have a couple more. I just want to thank these guys for having joined me a few weeks back. It was a really fun discussion. If you hadn't heard it, go check it out. Somebody just commented recently how uh, they really enjoyed our baseball discussion. So I thank you to that viewer. That was very cool of you to call that out. Uh, you know what? We love, we all love music, but we, baseball is a passion, especially when the Mets are playing well. And as you can see, again, I'm wearing my Keith Hernandez shirt. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Uh, and then, oh man, how did that one get in there? Oh, that's that one's uh, that's the wrong movie. I believe it uh, was said in that movie. Hey, Whitey, where's your hat? <laughs> no, seriously, that's me and a couple of my uh, golf buddies on uh, August Monday, August first. We had a great golf outing. It was a lot of fun. I wish I could get out there more often. Maybe I'll maybe for lunch tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll get to the driving range. Need to practice. So, all right, we can stop sharing. And that's that. So this really should have been incorporated into the last video, but uh, you know, I thought I took good notes, you know, and then uh, plotted out my episode, but I screwed up. So sorry about that, but you get to see another video. So anyway, this is Jack Toledano speaking for all Leonardo according to Jack. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more upcoming videos and have a good one. And let's go Mets.